absolutely love playing The Sims, and while I haven't totally gotten into The Sims 4 yet, and I'm kind of stuck with all of my expansion packs in Sims 3, I just love, uh, you know, creating characters and new little worlds and all that fun stuff. Um, so I decided I thought it might be kind of fun if I took my Sim, modeled after me, and had her paint some things, and I was going to try to recreate one of the paintings that my Sim did. So if you're interested in seeing that, let's get on with the video. So let's jump right into it. This is my Sim. This is in The Sims 4. And originally I was just gonna do the first painting, but I kind of wanted to see what else she would come up with. Uh, this was a brand new game, so starting at the beginner's level, um, the first couple things got a little, little interesting. I'll definitely say that. I tried to do a couple of different sizes. Um, I started with the small, went on to medium. Here's a large one. So finding wall space for these was shockingly difficult. This one was a little um, disturbing. Definitely didn't like that. The top one seemed doable, and these two were just a little odd for me. She actually ended up started doing a, like a fifth one while I was in the process of peeking, and it looks like it was drawn by crayons, and I think I can do better. So regardless of how much she leveled up, I definitely think we should be trying something a little bit different. So after really thinking about it and looking at what I had to work with, I think I decided that I'm going to be working with this like watermelon and apple piece that she has done first. So I'm just kind of sketching out with a regular mechanical pencil the shapes, popping in all of these different colors that I might want to use. And I just started with that white mixed with the parakeet green for the background. And I actually layered like the dark green on the outside and the light green on the inside and kind of just swirled it around here and then added that parakeet green in the middle and kind of brought it out just to make that gradient effect that was in the original. And next I started layering on the red and I noticed when I put it over the green it actually made this kind of shadow, uh, which I didn't like, but I did like the color it made so I actually mixed green in with the red to make the shadows instead of using that lighter highlight color. And I think this actually looked a lot better anyway. I'm coloring in the bottom now. I'm actually going to try to put some pink into those apples and gosh I just hated it so I covered it up immediately. Then I added in the stems, a leaf, and that was pretty much it. I wanted this to dry pretty quickly so I just kind of took my hair dryer and started drying over it. I spent entirely too long working on this. Uh, because it looked like that leaf was never going to dry. It turns out it's the only glossy paint that I actually had in this like collection of paints that I used. So as you can see, I'm spending way too much time wondering why it's not drying. I think I gave up eventually before I realized it was a gloss paint. At this point, I just wanted to kind of clean up some of the raggedier edges. I didn't get all of them because I mean, it's supposed to be a beginner level one, level one paint, and I wasn't entirely sure exactly how good that painting was according to my sim, so I just kind of wanted to add some stuff in, and I'm drying that up with my hair dryer as well. Overall, I thought this was kind of fun. I really didn't expect my sim to be making art sort of like this in any way. Um, it was really unexpected that I actually ended up liking the first thing as opposed to, you know, letting her go. I really hated that creepy bunny and that weird bipedal frog. It was just such a strange decision and this is something that I actually enjoy doing, this still life vibe. Um, I think it turned out okay. I definitely would like to try some of my Sims uh, arts or different art in the future and I think it can definitely be more interesting as we keep going. So if this is something that you like, feel free to hit that uh, thumbs up button on the bottom and maybe I'll be trying it again with something a little more difficult. Beyond that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.